Okay, okay, I see how it is, I see how it is. You want me to speak first, is that what we're doing here? You want me to speak first? You know, just once, I thought maybe just once you guys would introduce the episode, but it's okay, it's okay, I don't mind. It's what I do, I don't mind. Uh, this is Etho Plays Minecraft. I am Etho, I am playing Minecraft. I got shot in the face twice. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh, those look a little lower than I thought they were. Uh, yeah, so here we are, guys. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually kind of sick today. <laughs> and yeah, my I got like a sore throat. Uh, it's kind of bugging me. I kind of was hoping you guys would speak for a change, but no, that's not how this game... That's not that's not how our relationship works, is it? I have to speak. I have to do all the talking. Um, you're good at texting, though. Like, don't get me wrong. You got the texting covered. You, you, you talk in the comments very wonderfully, more than I do, in fact. But yeah, I think I have to do the speaking. So let's head on down to the cave, and the. Here's the dumb thing, okay, so like two days ago, I was talking to B00 and Generic B on Skype, and I was kind of teasing them because they get sick a lot, like, especially recently, they've they've been sick a lot, um, and I kind of pointed that out to them, and then B00 says, oh, you, you now you've done it, or something like that, like, because, oh, that was weird, because, um, if you guys remember back, is a long time ago, like episode 80 or something, I talked about how I never get sick, and then, of course, the very next episode, I got sick, and then uh, Vito Lolo basically said, you know what, you're going to get sick now, because you talked about, uh, about how you hardly get sick. So, of course, two days later, not feeling the best, but, oh well, it's nothing serious, it's not too big of a deal. I'm sure it will pass soon. Uh, but yeah, we are down here in the cave. Just doing some minor minor things. I don't know if we'll keep these. We'll just try it out. Um, got a little path on the right here. I don't want anything too big. This is the river we built last episode, by the way. I'll probably have to do something here. Make this come out a bit more. Um, just doing some minor touch-ups until we get it going. We'll get some grass along here. Uh, we're not going to really work on this so today. We're going to do some other stuff. Oh! No! I updated it. I'll have to fix that later. Okay, I'm, I better not grow this grass and that was... Good thing I didn't do it up here. That would have just wrecked everything. Um, I think I can do one here. The rest I'll manually place, so. Why would it... That's weird, it updates the grass block itself. Not like on top of it, but the actual grass block itself. Get a couple of these. That didn't update it. Good. <laughs> I was a little worried. Uh, get a couple of those down. Maybe put a tree here for future. But yeah, anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go do something. Um, today is, I'm going to mostly focus on touch-ups around the cave, probably. Uh, we might do a little bit of exploring, I'm not sure. Because it kind of goes along with one of my plans. Ooh. Actually. You know what I've always wanted to try with these guys? And by always, I mean, like, since today. Um... Yeah, I've never tried just taking the water away and see what they do. Like how crazy they get. Because then they can jump. Ah, it's not too crazy. <laughs> I thought it would be like this awesome show, but it's not a big deal. Alright, back it goes. What about these guys? Ah, I can't do it. Um, yeah, so what I kind of want to do is work over here a little bit to start off with. Uh, we really need to touch up this area. It's been this way forever. 
And to start off with, I think I'm going to put some leaves behind here and then some fences in front, sort of like we did at the mushroom farm. Uh, give that a little bit of a touch up. There's really not much space that we need to fill over here to, to complete this wall, so I'm not doing anything major. This wall, this lower part is okay, but everything above that line there we need to kind of fine tune. And then on this wall, see what this thing originally was, was like a cow chute to get mobs down here. If we ever need to get more cows down, I have this, this thing that goes up to the surface and then there's a water drop. Uh, we have a new chicken farm, so their service is no longer needed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But what are you going to do? Oh, man. This feels wrong. They've been with me for so long. It's alright. <laughs> alright, so, yeah, this goes all the way up to the surface. Uh, we don't really need this here, though. I don't think. Although we can leave it. Um, what I want to do, we gotta, we gotta fill that space with something. And I've asked about this before in the past, and the common thing people recommended is I do some pixel art, like a, a sheep face or a chicken face or something like that, to go along with our cow face. But this isn't really, you know, a sheep farm or a pig farm or anything like that. Uh, one idea I had, though, is maybe let's get some maps going on here, like a big map of my world, um, and try center that on the wall, and then we'll put a frame around it like we have with this, and just see what that looks like. Uh, so maybe the center of the wall is right there, where this fence is. So that would be up around there. Maybe if we thing is it's cut off here maybe we will try hmm no we, we could probably put something there let's put uh, like a 7x7 seven seven big map of our world there maybe uh, we'll, I'll start laying it out and see how it goes Do they hop faster? Oh, it's hard to tell. That is scary. That is a scary sight. Come on. Come on, little guy. This is probably not my brightest of ideas, and yet I still want to try it. <laughs> so here we go. Let's just see what happens. I'm wondering if I can, like, anger him. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, okay, that doesn't work because monsters are nearby. <laughs> All right, um, that was a quick test. And uh, let's get back to work. All right, this works pretty good, actually. Uh, I said I was going to do a 7x7 seven seven array of maps, but uh, this is a 7x5, and that's a... Pretty good dimension, I would say. Uh, we'll, I think we'll do the glowstone thing and trap door. The waffles, <laughs> just to mimic the cow. Uh, and then we'll have our maps there. And the center is going to be here, basically, where this cow farm is. And we're going to do the high detailed map. Uh, let's go down. So I gathered some materials to do this. I got my fences. Ooh. I put down one block here, and all the cows went to the other side really quick. <laughs> so, no cows on this side, which is fine. Makes it a little easier to work here. Uh, I just want to do this, I think. Very simple. Do, do, do. Ooh, getting some frame rate issues. And then, uh, what we'll do is replace most of this plain stone with the stone brick like we have around the border there uh, and yeah we're doing fences pretty sure I really like that look having leaves and then fences in front or 
iron bars or something. Okay, how's that? Um, might have to break it up some more, but let's just see what it looks like from up here. And now that we don't really need this drop chute, I, I'll probably put a ladder that goes up to the UFO as well. Uh, instead of just like an ender pearl root up, because I don't really use it, I find, because I don't know how to get up. <laughs> uh, I think I think the way I have it right now, I have to ender pearl up. Like, do this. Oh! Yeah, and that doesn't work too well, does it? Right, we're going to look at this. Don't die. Uh, let's look at it from a few different angles. Okay, you can still see the water. That's interesting. That's not too bad. The fences look a bit strange, though. Yeah, we should change that a bit. Um, we won't worry too much about it, though. I'm going to work on this some more. I broke up the fence by putting a, a split there in the middle. But even then, it looked a little strange, so now I'm trying these cobblestone fences, and... I don't know, the choice is between that and that, and I think I like that more. Although I'm not sure I like the mossy. Uh, now the choice is between the mossy and the cobble fence, and... Can you guess which one I like? I like... That one more. The plain one. That one seems a little strange. Not gonna lie. One more thing to try here. I put iron bars. So it's between iron bars and the cobble fences. And I am going to choose. Don't actually know yet. Let me think about it. Hmm. I'm very bad at making simple decisions. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the cobble. Yeah. Although we might do something different. If you guys have ideas what I should do with that spot, let me know. But otherwise, I think we'll just do full cobble. And I started setting up our, our giant map over here. It looks a little strange because of the stone brick and also there's no actual maps in it yet. So it's all, it's all plain. So we will work on that as well. Um, I think for the background, let's just try this out. Although, there will be, like, the colors are going to change once uh, I actually put the maps in, but probably we'll use either planks, normal planks, because that makes a good background for these item frames. Uh, the other, other idea I had is maybe jungle planks or birch planks. Let's try both of these and see which works better. Or even even soil might look good. Because it's a pretty cl close color. Let's just try a few of these. Okay, so... Do that. See, that's really close to the border color, so that isn't too bad either. And then we have these, which is closer to the, the matte color. Uh, and then... Soil. Hmm, I think I think this one might be the best, actually, just because it matches the same color as the frame. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think we made the right choice there. That's the winner. Uh, it really hides the, the borders around the item frames nicely, and it seems to... It'll, it'll help make all the maps join together better. Uh, I am tempted to change this wood and get rid of these waffles, but uh, I will leave it like that for now. We'll see what you guys say in the comments. Um, I saw a Reddit post the other day, actually. Someone made a, or changed his game so the item frames joined together, sort of, when there's maps in them. That looked pretty cool, but uh, we'll see how it goes once we start putting them in. Hopefully, it's, hopefully they join together pretty decent. Um, so now on this side, what we'll do, 
probably won't do it all today, but instead of having, like, we used to have water elevators here to go down below and to get up, uh, we might actually put in a staircase back here somewhere to go up and down. Let's go all the way to the end here. And we're gonna put... Oh, that is not a good thing. That is never a good thing. I hope I didn't bring a sign. Whoops. <laughs> um, that's another thing I want to work on soon is that spider farm thing. That could use an update as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll go change this and then we'll put um, some wood planks here. Oh, the noises, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. I have to live with that, you know? It's terrible. Uh, but yeah, we'll have planks, and then we'll do a fence again. Uh, one level above. On that side, we used upside down stairs. This side, we're just using full planks. Like that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll get rid of this. Then we'll... We have to work on a room for over here. And decide a purpose for it as well. Um, oh, oh, I did it again. Darn it. <laughs> was that serious? I don't think that was serious. Let's put that back like it never happened. Um... Yeah, we're going to put a thing of these on top as well. Okay, let's just step back and see what we got going on. Yeah, okay, it's something. It's a start. It's a start to something. Uh, what we should do, I'm going to try out the maps. Uh, truth be told, maps are one of the least... Or one of the things I've used the least in the in this game. I've only crafted like three maps total since they've come out. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually forgot the recipe. I had to look it up. I thought it was a compass and and like four pieces of paper, but it's eight pieces of paper. Um, let's see, so we'll make a few compass compasses. Uh, we will need what is it? A whole ton of, whole ton of, of maps here, won't we? It's gonna get pricey. Cause you need one compass per map, right? Or can we? I wonder. Can we clone like an empty map with just paper? Cause I know you can clone maps now. Do I have paper. Please tell me I have paper. Bet you there's some over here. Ah, perfect. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. Unlike Jeff in there. Um, okay, crafting table. Let's just try this out. Now, the other thing I'm not really sure is... I read you have to right-click to activate the map. Um... Let's let's test out this cloning. It would be really weird if you could do this, but maybe you can. No. <laughs> so you can't clone an empty map. That's good. Uh, but I think you have to right-click to activate it. So let's go... I'm hoping my position doesn't matter too much here. Like I said, I don't have much experience with maps. Okay, so I think I created it. Map number zero. <laughs> Never made a map here. Oh, does it load the whole thing? Oh, that looks so cool. You can see the snowflake. <laughs> oh, you know, I thought I had to explore it all. Oh, maybe this will be really easy. Okay, and yeah, our player... You see our player positions over there, so we're not in the center. If we're crea we created it, so it's... I think it's every 128 uh, blocks... Uh, what is... I'm wondering what this is up here. I can't figure that out. Oh, that's for... I dug some holes to get villagers down into... Uh, into our city here. That's what that's from. 
cool. So I'm gonna well let's let's put this in. Just get one in anyway. Oh that was weird. And I'll have to be careful not to enter peril to this spot because ah oh, dang. Because if I hit an item frame, or if I'm careless, this is my last ender pearl. Oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna make that one count. Uh, if I'm careless, I'll knock the item frames right off the wall. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. So that's our first one. I'm gonna make a bunch more here and try to piece them together. I'm really low on health. Oh, does it flicker? Oh, please tell me it doesn't flicker. No. Oh, it flickers. Don't like that. Hmm. Well, I went out and got a few more maps done. I have six total there, and they are all flickering. I don't know. Do you think that's a bug that's going to get fixed? I'm not sure, to be honest. And it's not like the item frames are are being drawn in front of it or anything like that. It's the map itself is not getting drawn properly. Depending, it seems to depend how close you are. If you're close, it never flickers. Uh, but if you're far away, it does. Depending on what angle you're looking at, you'll see different... Like, if I'm not moving, it doesn't flicker. But if I move, it keeps changing. Uh-huh. So, with that in mind, what do you guys think I should do? Should we keep that hit there, or should we think of putting something else there and maybe just move the maps somewhere I can look at them closely? Because as long as I'm close to them, they're fine. And it looks awesome. Um, but yeah. It's an idea. Overall, though, we got some stuff done here, which is good. Um, I, guess, I guess I'm going to go get a comment ready or two, and we will call it an end for today. My voice is starting to give out, <laughs> so we should end this. All right, here is the question for today. It's kind of a personal question, but I don't mind answering it. Uh, he says, Etho, hey, did you get any qualifications in IT? internet technologies and arts also what subjects did you take I'm English so subjects mean means classes thanks uh, I did not take internet technologies or arts in school I also never went to university or college or post-secondary education of any sort so I'm purely a high school graduate um, as far as what courses I took in high school is, of course, the core subjects that you have to take, like uh, like English, social math, science, that sort of thing. And as far as options go, like uh, the courses I actually chose, I took chemistry, uh, what was it, chemistry 10, 20, and 30, I believe. And I took... Let's see, what else did I take? I took a bunch of life skill management courses, like, uh, you know, how to keep a budget, how to do taxes, that kind of stuff. And then a big bulk of my extra classes came fr from, or extra credits. Here in Canada, you need, or you did need, at least when I went to school, you needed uh, 100 credits to graduate, along with a few other specific qualifications. And 35 of my credits out of the 100 came from work experience. So I did that for grades 10, 11, and 12. Um, I think it was... How did that work out? I can't remember how that worked out. I think it was like 10 credits one year, 10 another, and then 15 maybe? I don't know. I forget. But yeah, pretty pretty basic education actually. But it serves me well. <laughs> I don't really need to be smart to play video games. <laughs> uh, I find uh, just I don't know. <laughs> if I need if I need more education for a job I'm looking for in the future, I will possibly take secondary education or post-secondary education 
uh, for a specific job if I'm looking for one. Otherwise, I, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Uh, but that's just me. You do what you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's that's all for today. Thank you for watching, everyone. I I need a hot beverage. Clear my throat here. Uh, so I'll I'll see you guys again next time.